Hello and welcome to another video on percentages. Uh, in this video we're looking at compound interest. Here the question is telling us that £200 is invested in a savings account which earns 5% compound interest per annum. Um, now per annum, don't get put off by this word, it's just a posh way of saying per year. Um, the question is asking us how much money will be in the account after two years. Now with compound interest, all that that means, it just means that the interest is added um, at the end of each year. So um, let's. what I'm going to do here to kind of illustrate this is draw a quick table. So at the beginning of the first year, and so I'll just say at the beginning of year one, beginning of year one, I have got £200. Okay, then um, what I then need to work out is what 5% of £200 is. So I'll do that up here quickly. 10%, 10% would be £20. So just taking my £200 and dividing it by 10. 5% then must be £10. So um, my interest, my interest that I earn at the end of year one would be £10. So that means that at the end of year one, um, what I will have is I will have the £200 that I started with plus the £10 on top of that. So at the end of year one, I will have £210. Um, now going into year two, at the beginning of year two, well I'll have £210. Um, now again I need to work out the interest on the money that I'm going to earn this year. So I've, I've actually got more money than I had at the beginning of year one. So the interest um, at the end of year two is not going to be £10. It, it doesn't stay the same because I've got more money in my account. So let's work out what um, my interest will be in the second year. So here I've got £210. Let's work out what 10% is first. 10% will be £21. Um, so 5%, 5% will simply be half of that, which is £10.50. So the interest that I earn the second time round is going to be a little bit more than the first time. I'm actually earning £10.50 in the second year. And so what I can say is that at the end of year two, I'll have £210 plus the £10.50 interest. So at the end of the second year, I'll have £220.50p. Uh, so how much money will be in the account after two years? I'll have £220.50p. And that there is my final answer.